Hello everybody, welcome to my uh, Velma review with multiverse's gameplay in the background. I watched Velma, and here's what I gotta say about it. Uh, my review will consist of how I feel about characters, story, uh, messages I guess. HBO's Velma was definitely a show. It was a show about Velma, and that's what it got right. It, it it was a show. That That's about all it did. Was it a good show? Well, that's up to my final review counter uh, at closer to the end of the video, where I state my final score for this uh, show. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I would like to start off on saying uh, the show was not long, which I thank for that. And the fact that they released two episodes probably sped that up. I don't know exactly how much episodes they had, but it wasn't a heck of a lot, so I didn't have to put myself through too, too much. Just every Thursday for a couple weeks I'd be watching that, which isn't that bad because I've been doing that for The Last of Us, which is another uh, HBO show that I've been watching. I haven't watched too many shows this year. Really, it's been The Last of Us. Uh, uh, Velma, I watched, uh, all of Doom Patrol, uh, I also watched a couple movies like Dune, uh, Black Panther, and, uh, I'm hoping that we will get a lot different content from what we're getting. I've heard Ant-Man isn't good. I hope Guardians will be good, and I really, really hope that The Flash can save itself by being a good movie. It has Ezra Miller in it, which is means people aren't going to bother watching it, but as you guys know, I love the character of The Flash. I've watched all of CW's The Flash, so, you know, I'm excited for the movie too. And the new DC reboot. Either way, let's actually get into Velma. Let's talk about the characters. Uh, all bad. Uh, all bad. Uh, awful. Uh, not good. Uh, garbage. Uh, yeah. Just overall trash. They did not do the characters any justice. Velma, they made super irritating. They did not want you to like Velma. They wanted you to like Mindy Kaling who voiced Velma, uh, and essentially acted as herself. She is essentially her character from The Office, except cursing. She's nitpicky, irritating, she just isn't as, you know, talkative. But she still talks a lot. The, pl the overall character of Velma is god-awful. It's interesting to see a Velma who, yeah, 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 okay. She's hallucinating because she's, you know, worried that she was the reason why her mother disappeared. Yeah, okay. And she wants to solve the mystery. She has these hallucinations whenever that happens. Yeah, okay. But do you know what the problem is? That she's just unlikable. I don't care if she completely she completes her quest of finding her mother. All I care about is she gets hit by a car. Brutally. On the street. Yeah. Velma as a character was god-awful. She insults everyone. And then the excuse of the show is, well, she's really quirky, guys. You know? And she's the main character. And she's being bullied, so that makes her the underdog. And the I guess the writers just expected that would make everything better. Because that's all they shove in your face. Oh, she's irritating. But, but wait a minute, guys. She's bullied. And I don't like that. It's, it's god-awful. It's a bad excuse. Poor excuse. Now, if we get into, per se... Uh, 
the other characters, like Fred, who was absolutely trashed on. This entire show was essentially just uh, Mindy Kaling saying, Hey, 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 hey. Did you know white people kind of suck, though? And, yeah, okay. Uh, you know, a lot of TV shows nowadays make that joke, okay? Doesn't really uh, do too much. But that is literally their only joke for Fred. His entire thing is that white people suck. And it's it's really sad, because they butchered such a likable character. Uh, Fred is so cool. Like, amazing. Fred is the brains of the operation, but he's also, you know, the brute force. He isn't always the brains. In, like, Mr. Incorporated, he's both. And I'll get more into Mr. Incorporated later, but, you know, they really did Fred really poorly. They just made him spoiled, rich, and, according to them, very, uh, basic white. Uh, <laughs> it's not, it's not funny after the hundredth time, Velma. I'm gonna have to say. Mindy Cowling, uh, I don't need to hear that, uh, white people suck about the a hundred times. Like, it, it's, it's, it, we don't need to hear that. Okay. L Let's go on to, per se, uh, a different character. Daphne. Uh, she's a drug dealer. Uh, you know. Uh, she's pretty cool. And yes, I personally have said, out of, the, out of Mystery Incorporated, out of all the characters in the Scooby gang, the most useless one is Daphne. She really doesn't do much. Ever. Mystery Incorporated, obviously, again, bringing that up, Mystery Incorporated, from what I remember, uh, I watched this well when I was very young, but Mystery Incorporated did the characters justice. They were all cool characters. They even had a character named Hot Dog Water. That's all I can remember about the show. And again, we'll get more We'll get into Mr. Incorporated more after, okay? We'll get into that after. Continuing, though, Velma, uh, the characters are just so unlikable. Daphne included. They just make her popular and, you know, a drug dealer just because, haha, funny, I guess. And don't even get me started on Norfolk. For one, they went back to his original name, which isn't the biggest gripe for me. Nor is the race the race changing of the characters. That is a different uh, approach on the characters, and I'm fine with that. I don't care. Don't care about their if their like sexuality changed. I don't care. What I care about though is that the character is still a likable character that you will actually enjoy watching a story about them. They do the exact opposite of that in Vilma. They were like, what if we uh, take out Scooby-Doo from this story about the characters from Scooby-Doo, and we make them all unlikable, and then we do something about the story, um, and we make a lot of jokes uh, insulting people for watching adult cartoons, and also, uh, for being white. Yeah, that was the idea behind the show, clearly. And did it work well for them? <laughs> no, 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 no. It did not work well for them. For one, nobody liked the show. And I myself, it, I am also included in this. This show does not do anything justice. The characters are written poorly, and now I'm going to talk about the story. The story is uninteresting. At first, it's like, oh, okay, she has these hallucinations. But then they disregard the hallucinations, and then they're like, oh yeah, the hallucinations are back, and she's dying. Uh, the coolest part about Fred was that he was letting Velma die. <laughs> uh, to talk about, uh, you know, unfair pay. That's, uh, like, you know... That's funny, because nobody likes Velma. Let's be honest. Velma was the worst part about this show. 
And it's a show about her. The Mystery Gang was also done poorly. Norville was trashed on as well. He was trashed on almost as much as Fred. Just because he was a love interest character. This is what they did to my my character. my These beloved characters. Not my characters. These beloved characters. My boys. And the, the two female characters as well. <laughs> and... You know, it's just not, it's not right, you know, to make these characters so unlikable and expect everyone to like the show. And then they decided, oh yeah, the show is getting a lot of clicks, we should make a season two. What is going through the execs' mind? Like, it's getting, it's like Morbius all over again. The reason Morbius was released a second time was because it was getting a ton of clicks on the internet. Because everybody despised it. Nobody liked it. And that is what is up with this. That That's what I feel, you know? They did the st story poorly. They did the characters poorly. And then they did everything else poorly. Like, why? The execution was done poorly? The only thing that I can say really was done soup like, okay, was, I guess, the animation. And, you know, it's you can't really frick up animation these days. So, yeah. Uh, overall, I would give Velma a 0 0.02 out of uh, 10. The show overall was not enjoyable. It, cr it tried to take the, the characters from a beloved franchise, reboot them all, as completely different and unlikable characters, then say, yep, every, every, since it's an adult show, uh, we're going to insult our main audience, and then insult, you know, uh, white people, and yeah, uh, that'll be our show. They lost half the audience when they announced that Scooby-Doo wasn't going to be in the show. They only gained audience because everybody who watched the show the first day said, Oh my god, this is the worst show I have ever seen. That is how it got clicks. <laughs> and it's it baffles me. It baffles me. Now, uh, I said I would talk about Mr. Incorporated. Uh, well, for one, that was really good television. It was a great show. And I would like to say, uh, if we get... Uh, let me see. I'm going to say... Uh, four, four likes. If we get four likes, I'm a small YouTuber. I only need four likes. You get four likes on this video, I will watch. You know what? Five, five likes, five likes on this video, and I will watch all of Mystery Incorporated and then review that, along with some more multiverses gameplay. Now, I think Velma is on track to being. One of the worst, if not the worst, show of this year. There's really nothing that could beat it. There's not, like, all of the other things that are, should be coming out should be peak. Mandalorian Season 3, uh, Penguin, uh, what else, what else, uh, what else was coming out? Mandalorian, uh, I'm sure we're getting Marvel shows, like Loki Season 2. That will hopefully be pretty good. And what else? Uh, I don't remember. But those shows that I just mentioned, on track to be great shows. There's really nothing that can ruin this year for the rest of the shows. There is no show that I think could possibly be worse than Velma. No. 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 Not the Flash. No. It's the final season. The review will happen uh, once the Flash show is over. I'll see you guys in the next review. Maybe the Flash review. Probably The Last of Us first, though. Yeah. Again, five likes, everybody. Thank you all for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one, which will maybe be Mr. Incorporated, Last of Us, or, as I just announced to you guys, 
The Flash, which season nine. God damn it.